Hi, I'm Jay from CloudSponge, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our uh, public contact picker examples repository to start playing around with the, you know, the CloudSponge contact picker without even having an account. Anybody can do this. This is a public repository right here on GitHub.com in the CloudSponge organization. It's called Contact Picker Examples. And um, the README file has some basic instructions for this easiest way to run a little web server on your computer. Um, there might be other ways to do this, but this is this is what we all do in, inside uh, CloudSponge. And then there's a few links to some example files here. And over time, we'll build up more of these. But for now, there's just these three. There's Hello World, Basic, and Deep Links. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is click on Code and say Open with GitHub Desktop. If you're familiar with Git, you know how to use it already. You don't have to do this. You recall how you do it. But just to make this video useful for everybody, I will just say that. I've already got GitHub Desktop installed on this computer. If you don't, just get it. It's a free desktop app for Mac OS that uh, the GitHub distributes. So I'll go open my GitHub Desktop. Then you're going to choose, uh, I guess it's going to pre-populate the URL. Choose a destination on your computer where you want to save it. I just go, for me, I go with the default. GitHub Desktop puts this GitHub folder in your Documents folder, and then the organization name under it, and then the repo name. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is and say clone. So now it's a very small repo. There's only a few text files in it. And so now I've got it on my computer. I can open it in my editor. In this case, I've got uh, Visual Studio Code, uh, VS Code installed. I can show this folder in my finder. So if I click here, I can see the files that are in the repo. They're now on, in my finder where I asked GitHub Desktop to put them. And what I'll do first is open Visual Studio Code. So we have a place to edit them if we want to. So here we are. This is the files, and here we can play around with them. Let's start with Hello World. So here's our Hello World document. It's got the very bare minimum that you need to, to use the contact picker in a local host environment. So let's follow the instructions and get a server running. So over here on our examples, uh, this is just the easiest way to look at it. You could also look at it right here in the files that you you downloaded, but reading Markdown is less fun, but it's easier to cop and paste. So this file that's in the readme, uh, readme.markdown is the same file that's displayed right here. So I can just copy this. Uh, what you can do, actually, let's do this. I can, in here, since I opened this, remember I got here, I'll go back. So let's say I'm back here, and I say show in Finder. If I go up one level here, Right click on it and go up one level to Cloud Sponge. Contact picker example is this one. If you right click on this, there's an option that says new terminal at folder. That way you can actually skip the first couple commands there. You don't have to do CD, you don't really need to use the command line. You just need to be able to come here and then now I'm in the right place. I can now go Python command. And I got an error. So in this case, it says address already in use. So this computer, for whatever reason, this number 5000 is already in use. So I'm just going to change it to 5001. Oh, that's already in use. Let's try a different one. Cool. Found one. 5002. That's the reason why it's doing that is just because I've done a couple of tests before I started recording the video. So. Now, instead of localhost 5000, obviously we need to do, and there's nothing running at 5000, we do have a server running at 5002. So now I've got this repository on my computer, the one that's on my computer here, is running here. And if I run this hello world.html file, it's running this file. And I can prove it by saying, oh, sorry, not this file, the hello world file. I can prove it by writing something here, something here. Right? Save that file, refresh, and now it says something here, right? So now, now you're a web developer. Congratulations. Um, so, you know, I, th that's the entire purpose of this video. I don't want to keep on going and everything, but, you know, I can prove that when I click here, it opens the contact picker. This is the version of the contact picker that works on localhost. 
if you ship this file the way it is to a server with a domain name, it's going to give you an error message because this um, this key right here, localhost only, is only permitted to work on a localhost environment for experimental purposes. But what you'll need to do is get a CloudSponge account, put a, put your key here so that we're using your key, and then start a trial or buy a license for that key to work on your domain name. And that's how you get it working on your site. But this is the hello world that just gets you going on a local host so that you can go and, you know, on your, uh, go over here and go to the documentation. Uh, you can play around with all these options. You can sort of use the documentation, play around with all these features, make, you know, customize the, uh, the, uh, the contact picker to work and look the way you want it to. And then when you're ready, come and talk to us or come and create an account and get going. So that is the contact picker examples repository. Let us know if you have any questions. Just go to cloudsponge.com and look for the help icon. And we'd love to talk to you. Bye.